In this video, I talk about tactical flexibility, trying to give coaches some ideas on tactically what they can do with their teams, and as always, feel free to join the channel. So what does it mean to be tactically flexible? Basically, it's that you're not going to be stuck in only one way to play the game. You can make tactical changes. You can adjust. And you don't have to have a team like Brazil or the greatest team in the world that has these unbelievable creative players to be tactically flexible. And this comes on the premise that I have that predictability becomes vulnerable at some point. And top coaches are always looking for new ideas. And the reason behind that, in my opinion, is if you always do the same thing in the same way, teams can really prepare for that and that takes away from your effectiveness. You don't have to change totally the way you play, but when I say flexibility, little tiny changes in the way you play can make a big difference. And the, the other part here is your tactics have to match the level that you're coaching. You can't start requesting your players to do all these things when they're just beginning to learn about keeping their position and spacing and all these types of things. So let's jump right into like an example. So in this example, we're leaving the far side winger high for the counterattack. So you're basically defending with two lines of four. You have one striker that's up top that always stays central. And then out wide on the far side, you always have the winger high. So if that opposite side wing back goes forward, it's going to be in a little bit of trouble because our winger will not track him. The winger will stay high. This means that the diagonal ball in and behind the defense is always on. Now, if the ball switched to the other side of the field, basically our winger then would defend as the far side winger would not defend and come forward. So this is one area of just a little bit of tactical flexibility I'm giving you as an example. Now, if we look at the next one, say we just defend with two straight lines of four, but we leave two target strikers high, right? And that's a different scenario for the defense to have to, to deal with. So in game, you can go from leaving the winger high with one striker to 15, 20 minutes later, leaving two strikers high, but leaving them central. It's a different look, and the defense and the other team is going to have to react to that. So that's a little bit of tactical um, flexibility. And as we move on from that, let's take a look here. Instead of playing a 6, an 8, and a 10, we look at a formation here. This is a typical 4-3-3. Three, three. You have two 10s, right? And then you have the, the outside wingbacks providing depth. But here you're playing with a 6 and two 10s. Now in contrast to the 6 and two 10s, now you're playing with two 6s and one 10. So now when it comes to switching the field, you're not just switching the field through a number six. You actually have two. It's a little more defensively solid, but you only have one 10 attacking. It's just a little switch, and the other team might not even figure it out for a while. But it's a little tactical flexibility that you could see there. Next is, do you have to play? Even if you're a possession team, do you have to play from the back all the time? No, you don't. You could show some tactical, tactical flexibility by saying, hey, let's nail this ball long into that square up there in, in, in pink. We try to flick on the ball, whatever we do, but we press on. And when we win it up the field, then we can, if our game model is a possession game model, then we can start to possess the ball again. That's tactical flexibility. You're not always doing one thing. You're changing it up to make things less predictable and tougher for the other team. So here's the questions I would have for you. You don't have to have tactical flexibility if you don't want to. If you're confident, you can just go and impose your game with no changes ever needed. Go ahead. It's very difficult to do, but um, it, it could be the case. It could work for you. Um, can you add tactical flexibility without leaving your game model? I think, of course, you can. You you train your great game model and you make little changes here and there. And the bigger question is, do you let the players implement these ideas themselves according to what they see on the field or does it have to come to the come from the coach now if you're going to let them implement the ideas themselves and you give them the ideas you give them the changes 
And if they see vulnerability in the other team, they can automatically try to exploit that using the changes that you train them. Are you allowing them to do that in training? I, I would say you, you have to um, allow them to do that if you want them to do that themselves in the game. Now, the other thing is, you, the coach, do you have to initiate the tactical changes? If you're not going to allow the players flexibility to change themselves, do you have to initiate the changes? And the second thing is, if you initiate the changes, how are you going to do that? Because if you start yelling and screaming, the other team's going to catch on to what you're doing. Um, the other only thing I would say is that there's certain fundamentals. So if you're allowing tactical flexibility to take place, then you have to ask yourself, is your team always in balance? And what I mean by that, defensive balance. Even if you're sending players forward, you're switching up positions, whatever it is, make sure that you're balanced defensively. If you give the ball away, you don't want to give up a quick goal. So balance is always, always a key thing, especially when you're in tack. When you're in attack, you always want to be balanced defensively. So those are just some ideas for coaches to think about. I guess gave those tactical flexibility. I gave those tactical um, examples, not for you to go out and use, to, but to give you some ideas of what little tactical changes that you could make if you wanted to. You could put whatever you want in, but it's just to kind of spark the idea.